always wins every bet. Betting on marbles with his classmates, he threw them blindly with his eyes closed. The marbles can roll into the circle by themselves. Pick up a mark on the ground, he could win a lot of money at the racecourse. But every time he wanted to laugh, but he could only make strange noises. The boy had made a pact with the devil. He sold his smile. He gained the power to win every bet. Betting with his brother that the chair would break. The next moment the chair broke. The boy's name is Tom. He has always loved to laugh since he was a child. No matter how serious the occasion he can always laugh. And his laughter was infectious. But the devil saw this. The devil was born with a bitter face. In order to get Tom's smile. He turned his little brothers into rats. He made them watch Tom 25 hours a day. And within a few days, Tom's beloved father died unexpectedly, but his stepmother didn't even buy a decent headstone. Tom was so sad, and that's when the devil appeared. He took the opportunity to offer Tom a deal. If Tom sold him the smile, he would have good luck in the future, the ability to win bets. He also told Tom, all he had to do was lose one bet and he could have the smile back. Tom did not even think about it and signed the contract. At the same time, his smile slowly disappeared, but he won every time. The old man who cashed in the money was getting a cramp in his hand. When he got home, he asked to buy a tombstone for his father. But his stepmother was only concerned about where the money was coming from. Tom had no choice but to tell the truth. The next day, his stepmother took him to the racetrack. And sure enough, no matter how unpopular Tom's horse was, he ended up winning the race. With Tom's advice, the stepmother put all her money on the line. However, this one was a mistake. The horse they chose only got the fourth place. The stepmother immediately... The boy sold his smile to the devil. From then on, he was lucky enough to win every bet. Bet with the fat man that he would soon become his colleague. Just bet a drink. Unexpectedly the fat man just after the bet. The hotel manager came up to him. She asked Tom what his name was. Tom succeeded in finding a job. Job as an elevator attendant. Fatty thought it might be a coincidence. So Tom made another bet with him. That a horse would run into the store and eat by itself. Good. My god, and a horse came in and started eating the fruit plate. Now the fat guy finally believed it. He begged Tom to make a bet with him to make the beautiful manager fall in love with him. Sure enough, the second Tom made the bet. The manager immediately came over to him and expressed his love. The fat guy was so excited. From then on, they often bet that it would not rain today. The next minute, there was a big sun. They said the richest man in the world would come over tomorrow and punch the clock. The next day, the richest man came with a group of people to pack the venue. But what Tom didn't expect was, the richest man was the devil who took away his smile. At this moment, Tom suddenly found that the devil's eyes also looked familiar. After noticing that something was wrong, he rushed to find Jenny. Sure enough, Jenny's eyes turned demon yellow. Because of the fear of light, can only hide in the dark room all day long. In order to help Jenny get her eyes back, Tom immediately used his superpower to bet with her that her eyes will change back. As soon as the words were said, Jenny's eyes turned back to their original watery appearance, and the demon also got the backlash, back to the ugly look. In order to get his smile back, Tom made a bet with the fat man that he couldn't win, said he would be richer than the richest man. But to my surprise, some black-clad bodyguards burst into the bar in the middle of the night and took him away. It turns out that the devil died an hour ago, and Tom was the one he named as his heir. This is too unscientific, right? The devil can die? And so it was. The next day, the demon reappeared. He falsely claimed to be the dead twin brother. He successfully became Tom's guardian. In this way, he could legitimately raise Tom to be the next generation of demons. That's when his stepmother came to him with his stepbrother. She asked him for a billion dollars in alimony. Tom was stunned. He then made a bet with the, the boy was very lucky. Bet will win. He bets the devil to shut the mouth of his stepmother who asked for a billion dollars. The devil just said yes. Two people immediately shut their mouths. Nice guy. Scared two people quickly begged for mercy. But in the end, Tom had a soft heart, gave them 60,000 marks. After unsealing their mouths, he told them to get lost. The devil encouraged Tom, at least to spit out the vitriol. So he and Tom made a bet that they wouldn't slip on the stairs and not get stunned by a bee. All the bets were fulfilled in reverse. The two mothers and children finally had to jump into the pool. But what Tom didn't know was, every time he won a bet, good thoughts will disappear partly. If all of them disappear, then he will completely become a demon. In order to speed up Tom's transformation, the demon gave Tom the entire city to run, where he can create any kind of disaster with just the flick of a finger. Can create any disaster. And so, under the demon's deliberate guidance, Tom gradually lost himself in the power. At this time Jenny came to find, but Tom did not want to leave with her, because the feeling of being in control of everything, the feeling of being in control makes him very fascinated. So Jenny found the fat man, after talking to him, the two of them, they came up with a way to help Tom. At a charity event a few days later, they bribed the devil's men. They managed to find Tom. Jenny wisely made a bet with Tom that he couldn't laugh. Oh, boy, this is a really tough move. If Tom wins, according to the contract, he can win back the smile, but he can't lose because the contract says he has to win every time he bets. To write such a buggy contract, this demon is obviously not very intelligent. Ah, but to his surprise, Tom refused. Jenny knew that he was blinded by the devil, so she kept talking about the many funny stories of the two of them. She reminds him how cheerful he used to be, how charming his smile was. Finally Tom came to his senses and decided to make a bet with Jenny to get his smile back. At that moment, the devil, 
who sensed that something was wrong, suddenly arrived. He shouted Tom's name, trying to compel him once again. But by this time, Tom was already firm in his heart. The next second the bet took effect. He got his smile back. They hugged each other and started laughing uncontrollably. And the devil got back at him. He aged about 800 years. Angry, he used his remaining strength, turned two of his men into rats. Finally Tom took the two little ones with him. Live a happy life.